okay hi guys welcome once more to my youtube channel i'm glad to have you here uh today we'll be walking you through something very fascinating and amazing uh so it's um a notification alert on teams and how how automate can help you walk through so the use case business um is this right so let's say your email notification from crm it's not getting delivered or um your users or agents on your system are not it's not giving the needed notification they need you know we're an age where a lot of chat communication happens through teams and it would be nice if some of those special notifications for instance if a case is assigned to someone the person is notified on teams that would be a very cool one so that's what I'll actually be showing you here. You could also extend this to various things, so various automations you might be doing. But the use case I'll be pointing out for us here is when a case is created on your CRM system and um, the assignment kicks in, the person is assigned to is notified, right, on Teams that a case has been assigned to that person with the details of the case so that the person can go over and work on the case so let's uh hit the ball rolling yeah before we go forward if you've not subscribed ensure you subscribe just take a few second hits on the subscribe button and also don't forget to hit on the notification button so that whenever new videos are released from our end you get to see them first hand so without much ado, we will go straight into the workaround we have for today. So let me start with this. Uh, so what we're building today is more of a power automate flow. Then we'll come back to CRM to see to create a case, then go to Teams and see that that case is uh, we are notified about that case. So let's go to Power Automate, and I'll just go to Flows. So when I get the flows, I want to create a new flow. Okay, so um now we are flows. So I'll click on this and we want to make it an automated cloud flow. So it's when a case is created or the owner field is updated. So any of them want the person to be notified via Teams. So click on automated cloud flow. Then I'll call this Teams notification from case assignments. Right. So our trigger should be database. And when a row is added, modified, the case may be. So I'll click on create. So with this now, okay, so um, the t entity we're looking at for is the case entity. So but what we want is if it's added or modified, we don't want delete. Um, so added or modified, then the table is the case table. Or cases. Then the scope is organization wild. So wherever in the system that this happens we want this flow to trigger so organization then uh, column so the column we want to check out for will be the owner column so let's go and check this column in crm so let's do something here we can duplicate this right So that from here, I want us to check the owner column, the schema name for that. Okay, so to do that, I'll just go to solutions. Um, so I'll go to default solution. So I'll go to the default solution here. Just click on this. Then the table I want to look out for is the case table.
So I'll go down to tables. Come on, tables. Tables, please. Yeah. Tables. And what we are looking out for is the case entity. So I'll just go down to case. Looking out for case. So this is where we are. I'm looking out for columns. So I want to see the owner field and get the schema. This is owner. So with this, I'll just go down here. And I'll be picking. No, not uh, the only user. This is what we want to use. So once the only user changes, yep. So this is what we want to use. Yeah, this is the logical name. Copy this. And you come down here back to your flow and you just paste it so we are done with setting our trigger the next thing is we want to get the user email so we'll do okay let's just do data verse we want to get a robot id so data verse get robot id so the table is user. System user. So using users here. And what we're passing here is the owner ID. Owner ID value. So this will give us to filter out the owner of that case and we can now from here get the person's profile and all those fun stuffs and the next thing we want to do is we want to pass in the message so we call on teams right and we go to post message in a chat or channel and uh, we want to use to be posting as a bot on the system and the post in we want to chat with flow so the um the, the chat that to show is the one with the system bot so when you select this so which user do you want to send it to we want to send it to this user so let's do primary email so primary email of this gets rolled away we just got so the email the email should be there let's pass the person's full name right put comma enter a case has been assigned to you please find below the case details something like this and just say case number is this so we just type here number and look for the case number case number then you say case title and you put the case title Come here and say title. This title. So you can also put some any other thing you wish to add from the case. Let's see. Mm, what else can you can we do? So whatever you want to add, you want to add SLA. You want to add um, maybe some classifications down the case and different different things. But for this, we just show what we currently have and say warm regard something like this right so this message you want to get so i will just 
save this then now we go back to dynamics let's go to customer service hub and let us create a case just to confirm okay just to create a case now okay so our customer service hub interface so we are going to proceed to cases so that we can log a case let's go to cases here and it's trying to load So let me log a case manually. Let me click on new. Then let me log a case. Let me just say test teams notification flow and um, let the customer be this. Let me just put it. Case type as this, this one as this, and I'll save. So our case is saving. Okay, so our case is successfully created. Now let's head over to Teams and see if we have some notification there. So I'll go to Teams here and good. We now have our notification. So I can click here and see. They say, Dear Victor Guche, a case has been assigned to you. Please find below case details. The case number is this. The case title is Teams, Chess Teams Notification Flow. So that's basically how you can trigger notifications to users on Teams. So that when case is created, they can be notified via Teams. And with that, it, it increases productivity and also alertness as many people work on Teams. So thank you very much for your time. Uh, thank you for stopping by to learn how to work easy, work smart, so you could achieve more. If you have not subscribed, I encourage you to do it to subscribe and also turn on your notification bell so that when we release new videos, you will be notified. Thank you very much and see you in our next video. Cheers.